Welcome, miners, to another expedition into the depths of Deep Rock Galactic. Today, Boog and I embark on a daring adventure, braving the unknown to explore six diverse biomes teeming with danger and riches. From the beauty of the Azure Weald to the scorching heat of the Magma Core, our journey promises some thrills and discoveries. As miners, we faced some challenges, but nothing can prepare us for what lies ahead. Together, we'll uncover the uniqueness of each biome, experience new alien bugs, and forging unforgettable memories along the way. So grab your pickaxe, strap on your gear, and join us for an adventure in Deep Rock Galactic. Drop sequence initiating, fasten your Quickly! You got three seconds! Two! Let's hit it! Our first location is in Hollow Bow. This biome has dry thorn tumble, a weed-like plant that you can kick around, bow cones that look very similar to the ball sacks, er, I mean gunk seeds, <laughs> and can also be kicked around like the tumble, creeper vines that deal damage when touched, bloated vines that are similar to the creeper vines. Ow! Oh, these things stab you! Watch out! Look! Look what happens when you look what happens when you hit the plant. Look! Oh yeah! Whoa! What the fuck is that? Here! You here? There's some big fucking monster up there. Look at those! Look at that! Look at it moves too. Look! Look, it's gonna stab. Whoa! And a menacing stabber vine that likes Boog a lot. <laughs> Ow! Oh, it stabbed me. Hey, have some health. I don't know, you don't stand still. Don't stand still. Other vegetation in this biome that you'll see in this biome are the thorny weed and four different types of lichen that range from leafy, tall and tubular, to round and pale, all growing on the walls and floors of this cavern. I wonder what that is. Oh! In this mission, we find starch nuts. The pink flowers that can go for unlocking beer recipes back on the space rig. And we encounter the glyphid web spitter, which is constantly a nuisance. Got it. Yeah, I've got no ammo. Nothing I can do. Yeah. Clue where to find it. I got it. And the glyphid menace. Shoot this big fucking green thing here in my ass. Ow! Ow! I can't escape! Oh! I'm almost dead. How big is it? Oh, it's huge! Oh, oh my god! In our second location, we go to the sand blasted corridors for an on site refining mission. In 
this biome, in addition to refining liquid morkite that involves Bye. building pipes that you saw in the last episode of Deep Rock Galactic and keeping them repaired as they extract the minerals, we also have to collect the gunk seeds. Nailed it. Let's fucking get the fuck out of here. Oh. It's much faster if you throw it ahead. Kalabunga! Wee! Especially that last, especially that second section. We encountered a wasp nest, which was new. <laughs> Glyphid swarms and a total of eight sandstorms. I won't show you all of them, but I'll give you the best of the sandstorms. I'm hiding out of the sandstorm. Oh, fucking sandstorm. I have no clue where I'm at. In time, a swarm will be upon you shortly. Oh, oh bad timing. I love grinding. I need to find that last little one. Fuck, I'm gonna have to sit out this storm. Yeah! Oh, it's coming right for me! Ah! Oh my god. We also had a life of phage meteor that we figured This one we can mine this big one. And by that I mean Boog figured out how to mine by calling in rock crackers that required pipes attached to the meteors to crack them open so we could get the plague hearts at the center of them. I am. I ordered cra a rock crack pots. Over here by the mark point. Yeah, I'll put them down there. You can put them in there. See? That's three. Oh, he's pretty blanket. Two. As I was making my way to the dropship, I was picking up minerals of nitro and gold along the way, and the explosive spore from far away looked like gold to me. <laughs> the third mission takes us to the Magma Core, where we had our first escort duty. A mission where we escorted the drill dozer, known as Doretta, or as we lovingly call her, the whiny bitch. <laughs> as it makes its way through the biome till it reaches the Amaron Heartstone. But I found something here. The Magnite. And I don't know what that other rock is in the wall, but it doesn't give you anything. What is that? Oh, that's an autonomous drilling bot. Ooh, this thing is... Ow! In this mission, in addition to protecting her, we had to shoot alien bugs known as festerflies, which were definitely a pest. 
we navigated the, this biome of hot rock and chrome puffs. Alright. Heavy. I don't, what does this button do? Ooh! With your legs. Start the drill. Drill does a moving. Everything looks fine, but expect that to change soon. In this mission, we weren't repairing Doretta as we fought off the swarms, and it took us a while to figure out what the oil shale was and how to extract the fuel to recharge Doretta. I wanna punch the guy in R&D who programmed Molly. If only Deep Rock would invest in some pesticide. I'm gonna have a little exploration tour around so you can find anything. Do we fill it up with this stuff? I don't know. What does it say? What do we fuel it with? Do you have a zip line? Eventually. You pick it up and you press left mouse button and you have some fucking laser. Gotta locate some oil shale. And then you just dig this shit up until it's full. Also, the purple crystal that was mined is called Phasonite. I think this mineral is really pretty. I got the nitra. Can you grab that purple shit? So there are three things to get to the core of the heartstone. We gotta crack open the heartstone, and once it's open, flying rocks appear that we gotta shoot down. All while shooting off the swarms of alien bugs. Whoa! What is that? We had our hands full doing all of this and keeping the whiny Doretta repaired. Oh yeah, flying rock. Flying rock. I had just finished killing a Praetorian when a Glyphid Stingtail Scorpion got me and I died. Oh he... Fuck, he launched me. And at the oh, same time, another got Boog and killed him too. He picked me up and it dropped me from the sky. So we failed this mission. So round two of escort duty takes us back to the biome of the sandblasted corridors. This time in this biome, oh. we, or I should what say Boog, this? find some inner, inner, oh my god, I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> and our pearls. And <laughs> I'm not gonna disclose what we nicknamed these either. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have another Life of Age meteor that we mine and get more play cards. We still fail to keep Doretta, the whiny bitch, properly repaired. She's here. This is where you empty your canister when you're fully loaded getting some damage on our rig. And we have a giant Praetorian Oppressor that we gotta fend off. We also have to collect Apaco Blooms, the white flowers along the way. We encounter two more sandstorms in this biome, which really make it hard to see while it's going on, and you just gotta wait it out. Our characters nice. work really well together. My yeah, gunner with his zip lines go, 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 go. and Boog's engineer with his platforms and turrets make a great combo. Do y'all agree with this combo or do you think there are better combos of characters go, 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 go. in Rock Galactic? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Whoa! Boog is really smart at figuring and laying out the pipes for refining missions and mining meteorites. And I really appreciate that. I tend to leave it up to him while I protect Doretta. One platform ready to use. 
Fuck, I need to fuel, uh, reload my sentry. The core has exploded. I'm repairing this thing. You need to mine those crystals, because they're destroying the tank. Mine the crystals. Okay, I got another one. Fuck, I'm out of ammo. I can't repair it faster. Oh, we did it. Run, 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 run. Yeah, chuck it into uh, his ass. <laughs> Fill her up. <laughs> Look, it's taped to his back. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. We also learned that if you're not standing in a zone Wait, why aren't inside we going? the rocket, that the doors won't close and leave. No. You're not standing inside. Stand in the zone. There you go. <laughs> in this mission, we go to the new biome of Azure Wield. Which, to both of us, reminds us of the enchanting world of Avatar, this is like Avatar. the James Cameron one. <laughs> this biome, while beautiful with its light pillars, what are these? Oh, look inside them. That is very cool. Pretty. Flowers called callow cedars that shoot yellow spores. Oh, yeah. The nectar rinds that spin open and close when you get close to them. They close. Oh, look at this. Look how pretty. Come here. Umbra Seekers, the tall, thin, luminescent yeah. flowers that just sway back and forth. Yeah, I know. You see it? Maybe harvest it? Ah, we got onto. And giant wall Azaf leaves Ooh. that we can stand and climb on. Last, the round pink stuff on the ground that splat when you walk on them are called bloopy fruit. <laughs> this biome is really unique and beautiful. <coughs> there were also Mobula thing. cave angels that remind me of manta rays and pink flying bugs similar to the fester fleas called hexawing nifers. Both are harmless. However, while enchanted in this biome, we still had our fair share of glyphid enemies and a friggin' scary cave leech. I hate them so much. It's between them and the scorpions, to be honest with you. That's oh, I'm help, 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 I'm grabbed. I'm in the ceiling. I'm in the ceiling. Relax. I took out the cave oh, leech. Oh, fuck. Thank you so much. In this mission, we had to kill oh. two dreadnoughts. I'm building a turret. The first one was the Dreadnought Hiveguard that is comprised of what I call a Mama Dreadnought and two to three Baby Dreadnoughts. Fuck, I need to get out of here, otherwise I'll die. <laughs> it's not taking any damage. We, or I should say Boo, realized as we battled them that we have to kill the babies first before the mama will take any damage. So it's pointless to shoot and waste ammo on her until the babies are killed and then her shiny bits are exposed and then you can damage her until she recharges and her babies come back and you just keep repeating it until you kill her. Ow, don't Ow, you're killing me! Don't shoot. That's alright. You need to shoot those like light bits on this side. You see it? Okay, now kill him. Shoot him in the bomb. Keep shooting him. Yes! Nice, you got him. You killed him. Oh, you did so good. The second dreadnoughts we activated were the two dreadnoughts called the Lacerator and oh the Arbalist. Nice, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, she should fire. Oh my god, you're destroying her. These guys were scary, as I'd zip away to get away from them, 
only to turn around and find one right on my ass. And I can remember playing this, and I was very yeah, loud. My family was like, what the heck? <laughs> so now they can see what I was screaming about yeah, was <laughs> when I turn around and find oh, one right behind me. They're healing. They're healing. Don't shoot them. Yes, we got one. Hey, hey, you, you got one. Yes. Oh, that was so good. We both feel very satisfied with this mission. It is really intense with the dreadnoughts. Yeah, we are fucking brilliant. Ooh, the light here. We're sent to the radioactive exclusion zone for a point extraction mission. Get it done, team. Oh. Oh. That hurt. A swarm. We need to kill their spawn, otherwise they keep having this shit. We have to deal with swarm again in this mission as well. Oh, there's so many, uh, so many. Uh... Yeah, we better stop mining. We've got a lot to do. Oh. We had a glyphid acid spitters, glyphid swarmers that we call ankle biters, and many glyphids. No, 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 that's not on that. I was already there. Oh, fucking guts. Here, this look how biome it is. features volatile uranium, which deals radiation. Oh, it's such, such a cool generated cave. I fucking love this. And rock trees, which were really cool and reminded me of Planko's This is minus mania. And then there's little bushes or kind of flower type bushes called radipuffs, tumorous growth, and inner uranium. I found myself on the receiving end of karma when Boog accidentally shot me. Payback for all those times, including our recent encounters with the Dreadnoughts, when I accidentally tagged him. Sorry, I shot you when I tried to defend you. Ow! Gotta love the cosmic balance. It was a really cool biome to explore. Woo! That was cool. In this last biome mission, Ooh. we were sent to the fungus bogs. Oh, what the fuck is that? This is a salvage mission. A fucking ball sack. <laughs> I was thinking to say. Where we had to salvage two mollies and collect our favorite Big gunk seeds. We seriously need to invest in some better equipment. I called her. There she is. Amphibic Robo Beach. Yeah, you mi mine it because it's stuck in the ground. And now pick it up and now walk to that green throbbing thing. And then that's a leg. That's a leg and then you attach it to the mule. Well done. The mule is I've, got, I've done one here. I also have another leg here. Donkey, come here! Oh, can you fly these steam jets? Yes, you can! Oh my god, that's epic. The steam jet, watch this. Some of the cool things of this what? biome were the steam geyser that I had a lot of fun jumping into and having it launch me up to another level or just launch me up. What? 
<laughs> and it's too bad I hadn't fixed OBS issues, or you could have heard me going, Wee! <clears throat> come, come, come. Oh, fucking steam, bitch. Go! Woo! There were also cool giant xenofungus oh, that on, you that could jump on and land and walk across. And the ball sack. And the cool purple glow trees that I would love to recreate in Planko. I think they had some something similar in uh, RCT3, yeah. if I remember oh. correctly. Looks like an old drop box. We stumbled upon a buried resupply pod, which we promptly unearthed. Ooh, what is this? Look and what I Ian found! discovered a gleaming compressed gold chunk amidst our exploration. If I had a credit for every time I deposited, I would be a rich dwarf. This was a fun mission to round out our deep rock galactic game bench that we had. Extraction commencing. Good that was a nice mission. much for joining me as we explore the biomes of Deep Rock Galactic. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you would smash the like button for me. Doing that really helps the algorithm and my channel grow. Also, leave me a comment letting me know which biome was your favorite and why. I really like reading the comments. Let's go my friend. I don't think I've ever played a more stressful mission than this one. <laughs> Except for that Halo mission that we tried to clear but we couldn't. Oh, Scorpion! Until the next video, I wish y'all all the best and peace, love, and blessed be. Rock and Stone! <laughs>